This is already the 63rd murder of the year in Philadelphia, just 41 days into 2021. That's well ahead of this time last year when the city ultimately recorded a near record 499 hom homicides. Joe Holden has more on the growing urgency to address the ongoing gun violence that has taken so many lives. This is the 2020 memorial to Philadelphians murdered by illegal guns. The church here tells us they nearly ran out of space. There are so many t shirts. At the highly visible crossroads of City and Lancaster Avenues, a disturbing display. The t shirts of various colors with black writing represent Philadelphia's victims of gun murder. Names, ages, and dates of death. 447 of them, all from 2020. The violence in Philadelphia is ridiculous. Lakeisha Saunders' son, Keyshawn Young, is no longer here. He was shot out in Frankfurt. Um, the perpetrator who murdered my son is still at large. The organization Heeding God's Call to End Gun Violence has for seven years used t-shirts to show the impact of gun violence in Philadelphia. Given recent surges in killings, the display is expected to grow larger. We're also already seeing a major increase this year over last year, including seven that were mur murdered on Monday. Joanne Green buried her nephew in May. She stood in the place of her sister, who continues to recover from COVID in mourning the loss of Tyreek Taylor. Their loss also comes with so many questions about why, for so many Philadelphians, it came to this. It's too many children that are losing their lives today to nonsense. It really doesn't make any sense of what's going on here in the city of Philadelphia. The group is also backing legislation in Harrisburg that would cut down, they argue, on straw gun purchases, making it illegal to buy more than one firearm a month. In the Overbrook section of Philadelphia, this is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.